Right guys, it's afternoon time, tea time. So <laughs> we're back again with another curry. I'm gonna make my wife uh, a chicken tikka masala now. So right for this one, 200 grams of diced meat, fish or vegetables, one heat teaspoon of tikka masala spice seasoning, quarter of an onion finely chopped, four tablespoons of olive oil. 2 teaspoons of creamed coconut, 2 tablespoons of double cream, 1 tablespoon of natural Greek yogurt, 3 tablespoons of tomato puree, 1 teaspoon of garlic puree, 1 teaspoon of ginger puree, uh, and a teaspoon of sugar, but I, I've just left sugar out, and 50 ml of water. Right, so I've just put a little bit more onions in there, not too much more, so what we'll do, we'll sweat these off in that pan. And then we're going to add a tikka masala, so we add one eight teaspoon to the onions. A little bit for good luck. And we'll stir that in. Different frying pans, a little bit bigger. This one. Turn that down and let them cook a little bit. Simmer a bit and let them soften up a little while. We'll fetch you back in a minute. Alright guys, just while my onions are softening, uh, into a measured in jug bowl, whatever you like, you put your cream coconut your double cream, your natural Greek yoghurt, tomato puree, garlic puree and ginger puree and 50 mils of water all into a jug and just stir it all around. As you know chicken tikka masala is an uh, orange colour. Now you can add food colouring if you're that way inclined to make it brighter orange but I ain't to be honest and neither does my wife like so that is, uh, is fine for what we want. But that's what you get uh, once you put it all together. So I'm gonna put my meat in now in a second and then we'll fetch you back. All right guys, fetch you back. I'm just gonna put my meat in now. So we've got chicken breast tonight. You don't have to just stick to what it says on, on packet really, you can put, it's my wife like, and I do as well, I like peppers, bell peppers, um, and things like that. So you don't have to just stick to that, you can put, you know, vegetables in it or whatever you want to do, really, you can put what you want in it. But, uh, your wife used to choose, but we used to go to an India restaurant when I lived in Sheffield, she used to have what they call a chicken malaya and it was got pineapple in, not my cup of tea like, but she used to like that, she used to like it with pineapple in, so I said one night I'll do her a, 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 a dopiaza, say it's a dry curry dopiaza, and I'll put her some pineapple chunks in it, that'll be nice for her, she'll enjoy that, so I'll do that one night. So once my chicken's brown guys, uh, I'll bring you back in a minute. Right guys, chicken's nicely browning now. Starting to, I like to turn mine over and seal it a little bit. So what we do now, is we add all your ingredients, what you're putting in your, in your jug. Like I 
I say I've left uh, sugar out, I don't think it, it needs to be too sweet to be honest. But if you are that way inclined to put sugar in it, that's what it says on the packet. So put it in, by all means put it in. But uh, it'll be enough for what I want. Right, get rid of that and stir it in. Like I say, it's supposed to be bright orange this. But I know in Indian restaurants they shove that uh, orange cochineal food colouring in or whatever they call it. Which uh, I'm not interested in doing. Oh, it smells lovely. You can get that smell of garlic and coconut. Nice, rich, thick, creamy sauce to it. Lovely. for 15-20 minutes, I should leave it till 20 minutes and then uh, we'll fetch it back and show you the finished result here we are guys, fetch your back all done, look at that yeah, Bobby in it, that one is spot on so that's chicken tikka masala with chapatis tonight. So got to have a taste test, it's no good. I know it's my wife, but I've still got to have a taste test. Oh wow, fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Got to have another taste test just to make sure it's all right. Mm. Absolutely lovely. Taste everything coming through it. Beautiful. Really, really nice. So that's it, guys, for this one. That's uh, chicken tikka masala. Uh, I'm hoping to do some more videos very soon on different curries. Right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye for now.